Dr. Fizz, before we leave this chapter F on the Maxwell equations and the wave equation, we would like to demonstrate for you some properties of electromagnetic waves. So we consider a right-handed coordinate system. Here we have x, y, z. So if you have i hat cross j hat, it gives you k hat. And we're going to take a simple sinusoidal electromagnetic wave in the electric field and see what the magnetic field is up to. So we have an electric field chosen in the x direction, i hat, and this is propagating down z, the z axis. Now you will show for homework that E is perpendicular to the direction of propagation. You will show that B is perpendicular to the direction of propagation. And therefore you will demonstrate that the electric and magnetic fields are both perpendicular to the direction of propagation, which means light is a transverse wave in the disturbances of the electric and magnetic field transverse to the direction of propagation. So you will do that and you will be led through on how to do that. You'll be set up in the homework to, to do that and therefore we have this nice little picture of the electric field oscillating in the x direction with the magnetic field oscillating in the b direction. You will also show that these oscillate in phase and that's a nice summary of what you're going to demonstrate for us in a homework problem. And this explains so much, so much physics because you may have heard of various forms of electromagnetic radiation and here is the chart, very, very nice chart, showing gamma rays, x-rays, ultraviolet, visible, infrared, microwave, FM radio waves, AM radio waves, long radio waves, all of these propagate at the speed of light. They're all forms of electromagnetic radiation of which the visible spectrum is a very, very, very small part. And this is giving you the increasing wavelength to the right and the frequency will increase to the left. Wonderful, rich spectrum of electromagnetic waves.